Welcome back to the Tom FM channel and welcome back to Wonder Kid Wars, the series where I take two evenly matched Wonder Kids, simulate their careers, see who performs better, and it might give us a good indication as to who is going to better design in your save. In last week's video, we looked at Makoko versus Kamavinga, which went down really, really well. So I'll leave a little card on the top of the screen right now for you guys to go back and watch that if you missed it. Today, we are comparing two of Liverpool's brightest wonder kids in Harvey Elliott and Curtis Jones. Now, both these players have been involved in Liverpool's first teams in cup competitions, and surely it's only going to be a matter of time before Jurgen Klopp starts to call them up to his Premier League matchday squads. Now, both of these players have really high potential, and as we know in Football Manager, potential is a range between 1 and 200 with 1 being a terrible football player and 200 being probably the best football player to have ever existed. However, when players are young, like Curtis Jones and Harvey Elliott are, football manager likes to give them a potential range. One, because they're quite young and no one knows exactly how good they're going to be in the future. And two, to make sure your saves have some variety so it's not always the same players doing extremely well in them. So Curtis Jones has a potential ability of minus nine, which is the same level as players like Haaland, for example, which is pretty impressive. What it does, it gives him a range of 150 to 180. So he's going to be a fantastic player, whatever that number is. But if he's 180, it makes him one of the best players in the world. Harvey Elliott, on the other hand, has a potential ability of minus 85, which I assume is just minus 8.5, but they can't put decimal places in the system that they use. So it's minus 85 instead. But what that means is that he's got a potential ability of 140 to 170, which again, Again, makes him a really solid player in the future. In the interest of fairness though, we're going to set the potential ability of both of these players to the exact same and because Harvey Elliott's maximum is 170, we're going to set the potential ability of both the players to 170. So this will be as good as Harvey Elliott can get. Curtis Jones though can get better, although the 170 that we set him to might actually be a bit more representative of what you might expect to see frequently in your save files. So before we dive into today's video, we'd massively appreciate it if you guys could drop a like on today's video for me, subscribe to the channel if new around here and tick that notification bell so you never miss an upload. And also leave a comment down below with your best suggestions for who we can do in future episodes. The best ones will get made into videos down the line. And of course, today's video is sponsored by the One Football app. One Football is the best football app out there to keep up to date with all of the latest news and live scores from around the world. But also, it's really good for keeping up to date with individual players. So, for example, you can follow Harvey Elliott and Curtis Jones and keep up to date with all of their match stats from whatever games they're playing in. It's really handy to keep up to date with young players that you're trying to scout on Football Manager to see if they can do it in real life. They can probably do it in game as well and might be worth signing. So we'd massively appreciate it if you download the app for absolutely free from the top line of the description. And with that, let's get into today's video. So we are right at the start of the game right now in 2020. We're on Harvey Elliott, and as you can see, he looks like a pretty decent player. He's currently out on loan at Blackburn, so his first season will be at Blackburn Rovers. What we're going to do, though, is go to the editor and edit player attribute details and set that potential ability to 170. So already 126 current ability, which is pretty decent. Championship level or so. Potential of 170, that is world class. And we'll do the exact same for Curtis Jones, who stays at Liverpool in season one. We'll go to his player attribute details. His current ability is 131, so he's just slightly better than Harvey Elliott right now. But we're going to set that potential ability from 168 to 170 as well. Well, so here we go. The first simulation is done. We're now in 2025, so five seasons on from when we started off. And let's go and check out these lads. We'll start off with Harvey Elliott once again. Let's check him out and see how he's getting on. Well, he's still at Liverpool, valued at £71 million and on nearly £200,000 a week. So clearly, Liverpool are big fans of this guy. He's uh, really improved in his attributes. The crossing and dribbling and first touch are through the roof. Technique's really good as well. What is a little low, though, is the pace and accelerate. His physicals aren't brilliant, and that might hinder him a little bit, I must say. He's made one cap for England as well, so he's starting to bridge into the national team. How's he done in his career? Well, he did a very good job for uh, Blackburn, I should say, in that first season with a 7.16 average rating. Then went on loan to Leeds United in the Premier League and got a 7 rating. 
and then went to Southampton for a season as well. Obviously, Liverpool, one of the best teams in the world. They've got Sadio Mane, they've got Salah, they've got some really good wingers. So for Harvey Elliott to get better than them, he's had to go out on loan for a few years, but is now starting to break into that Liverpool team. Made 17 appearances in the 2023-24 season and made 23 in 24-25 with a 7.09 average rating, five goals to his name and three assists. Not a bad return. Curtis Jones, on the other hand, wow. Well, he's currently playing for Real Madrid. He's got four caps for England as well. But looking at the attributes, he looks very evenly matched with Harvey Elliott. Now, I did forget, actually. Let's go back to Harvey Elliott. Let's have a quick look at the player attribute details. He's got 163 current abilities, so very nearly at that potential peak, which is pretty impressive. If we go back to Curtis Jones, let's have a quick look at how he's getting on. 163 as well so in terms of current ability the exact same but if we compare the two of them right now in terms of the actual attributes it does look like Curtis Jones is a little better he's better in the air he's better in defense and he's better mentally and going forward and in terms of speed everything else is a draw right now so if you were going to choose between one of these two players you might be siding for Curtis Jones. So how did he end up at Real Madrid then? Well, let's have a look. He went on loan to Aston Villa for a season and got a 7.2 rating there in the Premier League and then played quite frequently for Liverpool actually. Played loads of games, getting really good ratings and then Madrid buying for £25 million and he has a storming season for them. 12 goals and 10 assists. I mean, I'm not quite sure why Liverpool sold him because he played phenomenally well. Really, really well. That seems like an absolute bargain for a player of Curtis Jones' ability. And the return Madrid have got for him there, 12 goals, 10 assists, is phenomenal. I think in these first five years, Curtis Jones is the winner. He looks better on paper as a player. And in terms of actual ability and what we've seen him get in, in games, he's done better than Harvey Elliott. So for me right now, Curtis Jones is the winner so far. So we're back now, five years in the future again. It's 2030, and I'm excited to see how these boys are lining up. So if we have a look at Harvey Elliott to start off with once again, he is still at Liverpool, and his attributes haven't changed massively. We're still looking at 16 crossing, dribbling, and 17 first touch now. Mentals look pretty decent, and physicals have improved a little bit as well. If we look at the attribute details, he has peaked at 168 current abilities. Didn't actually quite get to 170, which is interesting. So that's a, that's a bit of an interesting uh, dilemma there for, it's not a dilemma at all. I don't know why it's a dilemma. An interesting observation, we'll call it that, but he's still at Liverpool as you can see, and just wow, he is a goal scoring machine. Now, interestingly, he went on loan to Real Madrid. After we looked at him last time, he went on loan for a season to Real Madrid, so him and Curtis Jones must have been paired up for a season there, and he played very well for Real Madrid, a 7.7 .7 average rating, but clearly that did some good for him because since then, he has had some great goal-scoring returns for Liverpool and plenty of assists as well. This is phenomenal for a winger. Really, really solid stuff there. You can see why Liverpool have kept him, and they've put him on a £250,000 per week contract Really top stuff there. I am very impressed. He's also made 42 caps for England, scoring 10 goals as well. So having a good international career too. But I, I'm just flabbergasted by how, how he's turned this around. Because last time out, nothing special really. Like some good ratings for a young player, but nothing special. But he's really come into his own since moving to Real Madrid on loan for a season and has blossomed into a great player. So this is going to be tough for Curtis Jones to beat, I must say. He's still at Real Madrid and on £400,000 a week. That's pretty impressive. His attributes, though, his mentals look a lot better than Harvey Elliott's, but I must say Harvey Elliott's technicals and physicals, maybe physicals are on par with each other, but technicals for Harvey Elliott look a little bit better. And again, what we'll do very quickly is compare the two of them. And this time, Harvey Elliott is starting to look a little better in the physical and technical department. As we may have kind of thought, everywhere else is pretty even. Curtis Jones better in the air just because he's six foot one as opposed to five foot seven Harvey Elliott. So very similar players. Curtis Jones, if we can get onto the editor, has uh, 166 current abilities. So he's not actually quite as good as Harvey Elliott. Harvey Elliott's just a couple current ability points better. And this time around, well, we can see that actually, I think Harvey Elliott is now the better player and he's won the next five years because the goal scoring returns and the assist returns from Curtis Jones are just not as good 
as Harvey Elliott. He does have some decent seasons. He got 10 goals there as well as the 12 we saw last time out. But he has dropped in his goal contributions since that first season. Still solid average ratings and stuff. But as he's got older, he has plateaued maybe a little earlier than Curtis Jones has, than uh, Harvey Elliott has, sorry. Of course, he is 29 years old. He's like a year or two older than, than Harvey Elliott. So that might play into that a little bit. But I think over the five years we've just seen, this time it goes to Harvey Elliott. And so for one final simulation into the future, I've gone seven years this time into the future. So to 2037. And let's check out these boys and see if they're still kicking around and playing. Harvey Elliott at 34 years old is still playing and I must say still looks pretty decent for 34 years old. The physicals have dropped off a bit but the mentals look very good as do the technicals although dribbling and crossing have dropped down a little bit. If we look at the player attribute details he's dropped to 145 current ability as you would expect for a player of his age. But 145 is still very, very good for a Premier League player. So he's currently at Leicester, as you can see. He's made 83 caps for England, scoring 26 goals. When did he move to Leicester? Very recently. And I'm surprised that Liverpool let him go because those average ratings are still through the roof. He dropped off massively in terms of goal contributions, but was still getting really decent numbers up until the 34-35 season. And actually, the 35-36 season seems like a bit of an anomaly because 36-37 Liverpool was solid too. So Harvey Elliott had a fantastic career is a solid goal scorer, 150 goals in all league appearances, which is very, very good, I must say. I'm surprised they let him go. I guess he maybe wanted too much money or something like that, but uh, but Liverpool, I, he's done so well for them. Curtis Jones, on the other hand, wow. Well, he's 36 years old now and currently playing for Copenhagen in, they're in Denmark, aren't they, I believe? It is Denmark. Yes, it is Denmark. I got that right. Um, his mentors look extremely good. Technicals have dropped off massively and so have the physicals. So let's have a look at the attribute details. Wow, big difference here. 118 current ability. Now he is two years older than Harvey Elliott at 36, but that is still a phenomenal gap to have between those two players. So when did he leave Real Madrid? Well, he left them in the 33-34 season. So not too long after we last saw him. He moved to Juventus for a season to try and revive a career there, I suppose, and got two goals and five assists. Not really working out massively for him there, despite the good average rating. Before moving on to Leeds for £1.2 million. Had a season and a half there or so before heading over to Copenhagen on a free transfer where he's got one goal from three appearances. So a bit of a fall from grace from Curtis Jones. He started off solidly and then has dropped off quite spectacularly, actually. Uh, we never really saw the promise that he showed from that first season in Madrid with the 12 goals and 10 assists. If he kept that up, that would have been incredible. But I think what we can say is that Harvey Elliott might be the better pick to go for instead of Curtis Jones. Now, this next bit might be a little pointless. I'm not too sure, but we're going to look at some international individual awards to see how they've got on if they've managed to win something like a European Golden Boy or a Ballon d'Or. I doubt they're going to because they're not going to be the best players in the world. They're all the better ones out there. But it's worth having a look at least to see if they've won something. And we'll start off with European Golden Boy, which by looks of things, they haven't won. I mean, players like Bellingham, Mariba, Camavinga, Haaland have all won it. But unfortunately, none of the chaps we're looking for have won it. What about best player in Europe? Now, potentially, Harvey Elliott could be in here with his really good performances for Liverpool. But he hasn't won it. Haaland's won it a few times, as has Mbappe. Uh, Harry Kane's won it. But in recent years, this guy, Flavio, whoa! Now look at this guy for a player, 25 years old and he looks incredible. Edit player attribute details, 196 current ability. For context, I think Messi is 195 and Ronaldo is 194. So this guy is better than Messi and Ronaldo and wow, he does look good. He looks very good. Currently playing for Man City, just signed for 100. Wow, Barca bought him for 281 million and they sold him for 137. But I mean, look at the average. Wow, 
this guy is a star. So this is what they're competing with. They're not going to win these awards, I suppose, because they're competing with absolutely incredible players like these guys. We'll have a quick look at the Ballon d'Or, but unfortunately, I can't see any wins there for either of Curtis Jones or Harvey Elliott. But again, the guy we just looked at has won plenty of them. Uh, Mbappe's won some, Haaland's won some, Kaya Wurtz has won some, Sane's won some, Odegaard even ended up winning some but not the ones we want to win. So no individual awards for Jones or Elliott, but they both do play for England. So how have they helped England out over the past 17 years? Well, they have helped England win two European championships in 2024 and 2032, which is pretty impressive. Who did England beat in that time? They beat Norway in one final and Croatia in the other final, which is interesting. Uh, the only team in this save to have won it multiple times. So well done England, well done Harvey Jones, and well done Curtis Elliott. I've said that wrong, haven't I? They've also helped them to win three European Nations Leagues as well in 2028, uh, 2030, and actually maybe not 2036. They might both have been retired by that point from international football. But they won it in 2030, beating France in the final, and they beat Spain in the 2028 final. So overall, it looks like they've both had great careers at Liverpool and Real Madrid, and for England, of course, too. But on the balance of play from this experiment, with them both put to the exact same potential ability, Harvey Elliott does look to be the better of the two players. He got plenty more goal contributions, and that's what you want from an attacking midfielder on the wings. You need someone who's going to be contributing to goals, scoring and getting assists, and Harvey Elliott got plenty more of those. So if I was you... I'd be signing him over Curtis Jones. But that brings us to the conclusion of today's episode. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you do drop a like on today's video for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And let me know in the comment section who you want to see in future episodes. Until next time, have a great rest of your weekend. I'll see you soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.